Hello friends, it's so good to be with you today. Today was a little bit harder here at our house. Um, the sun wasn't shining, we couldn't really go outside, and I wondered how the rest of you were feeling. You can see how Bromley's feeling. Um, that's why I picked a book later on, I'll tell you, with a dog in it to cheer me up. But I couldn't help be reminded about the story of Noah that we learned so, so much at the beginning of the year this year when Noah was in that boat and it was go he was going through all the rocky, rocky seas and really worried and starting to, you know, to doubt. And God kept his promise. God said, I will keep you safe. And I feel like we can be reminded of that story and think about what will that rainbow look like for us when this is all over and we can all be together and we can uh, high five and hug and play with our friends. And I think that rainbow will be so appreciated. We'll, we'll really appreciate each other. So we have to continue to trust. And if you're in my class, We've been singing a lot of Lauren Daigle songs and trust in you. And remember, um, you know the words. When you don't move the mountains, I'm needing you to move. When you don't part the waters, I wish I could walk through. When you don't give the answers as I cry out to you, I will trust, I will trust, I will trust in you. So we're going to continue to trust and we're going to continue to reach out through all the technologies and utilize all the things we can use to see each other. And we know that things are going to get better and God keeps his promises and we will be safe. So in order to cheer you up, I picked a silly book about a dog today. And look at my dog loves this story. You can see him. He's so relaxed right now when I'm reading this book. This book is called That Magnetic Dog and it's by Bruce Waitley. And he's an Australian author and illustrator. It's amazing how many authors do their own pictures and illustrate their own books. And this, this book's illustrations are just so funny and I hope you love them. So that magnetic dog, if you look at the cover and those of my friends who are reading people, make a prediction. What's a magnet do? What do dogs like? What do you think this book is gonna be about? Let me tell you, it's gonna be silly. That magnetic dog, there he is. Feel free to show Bromley because they like him. Magnets attract metal objects, like keys and spoons. My dog Skitty doesn't attract metal. Hmm, look how cute he is. She attracts food. <laughs> Flying cheeseburgers. Bromley in the picture. When mom has a biscuit with her tea, Skitty gives her that look, that magnetic look. Before you know it, Skitty has a biscuit too, sometimes more than one. That magnetic look can be very strong. Look at that face. allowed to feed Skitty at the dinner table, but somehow food always goes in her direction. Blah, 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 blah. Go, please go. When dad and I make a cake, we don't worry about any batter that spills on the floor. We know it will disappear. Skitty's taking care of things. And we never ask, who wants the last bit? Skitty always gets the last bit. Sometimes she even gets the first bit. Some yummy cake. Not that Skitty steals food. She doesn't have to. It just seems to follow her around. Skitty's walking down the street. Food is attracted to her. <laughs> uh oh. She likes Chinese food too, but I wonder if she gets too much of it. Skitty takes food very seriously. 
it is so silly. We have to be extremely fast when buying fast food. Blink! And she's taken away our takeaway. Peanut butter and honey sandwiches are my favorite. Unfortunately, they're skitties too. Whoa, look at her go. She's flying through the air. Once my brother even climbed up our tree to eat his strawberries in peace, but there's no escape. Skitty has magnetism, all right. It isn't only food she attracts, she attracts people too. There's no escaping that magnetic look. Oh, look at how everybody loves Skitty. Just like at our house, we love Bromley. That magnetic dog. And if you didn't see him, here's my magnetic dog, Bromley. He loves books, he's like a magnet to books. Now. If you are a pre-K student or kindergarten, draw a picture of a pet. And if you don't have a pet, what pet, what pet would you like to have? And what would it attract? So in your picture, make sure your picture is as big as your hand. So make it nice and big on the page and use at least six different colors and include and try to label it. If you can try to label it and spell out the word, what would your pet attract? If you don't have a pet, remember you can make up whatever kind of pet you want. Older students, can you write a story about a pet that would maybe have a superpower? Maybe it's attracting magnet things or maybe it's saving the world, but make sure your story has a beginning, a middle and an end and make sure you can't start out your story with a good catchy hook, maybe a big noise or um, something very descriptive to attract the reader. Those of you who have been listening on Facebook, please know that the teachers at Christ Memorial are gonna to start to put up YouTube videos with um, including these books that are put on so everybody can access them. And some little lessons for our foundations, our letters, our math and science, and you'll get to see Mrs. Dallas and Mrs. Hoover too. So if you've been following along on Facebook, um, look for some YouTube um, options for you to click on. We'll be linking them to your email and you'll get to do some mini lessons at home. All right, hope you're staying well, and remember to trust in God. See you all soon.